Welcome to the Messy Mind Podcast, a show to support you in seeing entrepreneurship isn't always a straight line to get to your light bulb moments. I'm your host, Tammy L. Davis. In the first series of episodes for my mompreneurs, we discussed how to thrive as a mompreneur and learn how to balance, survive, and again, thrive with everything that we have going on as business owners, wives, and mothers to the people in our lives. We learned about the seven types of rest and the importance of discovering your rest levels and how to recharge. And now as I end the mompreneur series, and as I say, However, end, I may slip in another two or three episodes because there is so much more I'd like to offer to my fellow mompreneurs. But for now, in this last episode of the series, I want to discuss the power of surrender. If we were to look up the word surrender in the dictionary, it really means a variety of things. So the word surrender means to yield power to, control, or possession of another upon compulsion or demand, to completely give up or agree to or forgo, especially in favor of another, to give oneself up into the power of another, especially a prisoner, to give oneself over to something such as an influence, And my last definition that I've came across, meaning that the power of surrender is to give oneself up into the power of another, as I said before, but really from a synonym standpoint, really relinquish. Now, typically surrender is perceived as negative, weakness, giving into the enemy, allowing someone to take control of you. However, did you ever think that Surrender is faith that the power of love can accomplish anything even when you cannot foresee the outcome. That actually is a quote from one of my favorite thought leaders, Deepak Chopra. You see, surrender allows us to fully embrace the vision, the dream, the big picture, no matter what the outcome We may not understand redirection or interruptions. However, however, we must be committed in knowing that when there is a redirection or an interruption or even a detour, it is for a good reason to be in sync or in line with your vision, whatever it may be, whatever your big picture is, whatever your big dream is. The power of surrender allows us to transcend the limits of self. It says, buck off to our ego. And you know, I want to use another word than buck, but it says, buck off to our ego, let go of our past experiences of doing things and release it to willingness. The only thing needed to maximize your experience of the power of surrender is to offer your simple willingness with a state of mind that says, I am willing. Whatever it is, I am willing. Willingness to give up what I have to get what I want. Willingness to jump in the middle and have it turn out. Willingness to take correction. And by choosing to work in the context of willingness, you are actually surrendering. And if the willingness is used as a principle in what worked, then you surrendered. Surrendering to the vision no matter what the outcome is. And your simple willingness is all that is needed to literally transform the vision. So I ask you, are you willing to surrender to your vision? Are you willing to surrender? And I like to say that word really fast because I'm I'm getting into it. But are you willing to surrender to what you thought would happen, happen as opposed to embracing what has happened? Are you willing to surrender to learning how to move forward on a new path, but still being aligned with your vision? That's the question you get to ask yourself. As a mompreneur, there's many things that might come on our path that we did not foresee. Because again, when you're in this role, such as we are and responsible for so many things, balls can be dropped. Things can be diverted. But that doesn't mean that you get to surrender what you had in mind. That detour may have happened for a reason. 
So again, I ask you, are you willing to surrender to your vision? Are you willing to surrender to what you thought should happen as opposed to embracing what has happened and learning how to move forward on a new path, but still aligned with your vision? Thank you for joining us this time on the Messy Mind Podcast. Please visit our website at themessymindpod.com. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you'll never miss an episode. While you're at it, if you found value in this episode, we'd appreciate a rating on Apple Podcast or simply tell a friend about the show. Always remember to embrace the messiness of entrepreneurship. It can lead to your light bulb moments.